turn to the book of Nahum, chapter 3, and we're going to read verses 1 through 7, and then we're going to turn to Matthew 23, and we're going to, Lord willing anyway, uh, put those things together, and just speak with you for a few moments. says this, sorrow or woe to the bloody city. Mm -hmm. It is full of lies and robbery. Mm -hmm. The prey departeth not. The noise of the whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horsemen lifted up the bright sword and glittering spear and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses and there is no end of these dead bodies. Mm -hmm. They stumble across their dead bodies. Because of the multitude of whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, mm -hmm. the mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations through her whoredoms, mm -hmm. and families through her witchcraft, behold, I'm against you, saith the Lord, and I will discover your, I will lift your skirts up above your face, and I will show the nations your shame, and the kingdoms your shame as well, and I will cast abominable filth upon you, and I will make you vile, and I will set thee as a gazing stop. And it shall come to pass that all that look upon you shall flee from you and say, Nineveh is laid waste. Who will bemoan her? Mm. Once I seek to comfort you. Amen. In Matthew 23. Matthew 23. And I'm going to start reading at verse 1. And it says this. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. And therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe that, observe and do, but do not do after their work. For they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne and lay upon men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers, but all of their works they do for the favor to be seen of men. They make broad their lesser trees and enlarge the borders of the garments and love the uppermost seats of the feast and chief seats in the synagogue and greetings in the marketplace to be called men. Rabbi, Rabbi! Yeah. But be not called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all you are brethren. Amen. Yeah. Really uh, quickly today, and we'll let the spirit lead. I want to speak with you from this thought. When to call a spade a spade. All right, Dale. We're going to call a spade a spade. It has become noticeable that at any other time other than. Uh, in the last 300 years in the Western world, something is broken with our moral compass. Something has gone astray. Satan's kingdom seems to be expanding. And saints, it would be easy to talk about people outside of the house of God. But I'm beginning to believe that the lack of power inside the house yeah. is the issue. Okay. Tell it. Tell it. it is become noticeable also that as a psalmist, my favorite psalmist, I call him Christian rapper. His name is Shailen, and I've told you of him before. Amen. He said, today the only heresy is saying that there's heresy. All right. And what we find here is the city of Nineveh was what we would say gone, backslidden, deplorable, 
walked away from God. And we remember that there was a certain prophet that was actually sent to this city at a time, and you would know him as Jonah. That time, they repented in sackcloth and ashes. Mm -hmm. What we're looking at here, however, is we're looking at a city that is backslidden and and my mama said, doing whatever it is that they wanted to do. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it is written, perverse disputings of men, corrupt and destitute of truth, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw thyself. When we put that together with Matthew chapter 23, uh, Jesus is also warning us about a certain people that have the power to affect the city that is actually affecting that city but it's for their own pocketbooks mm -hmm. Jesus was quite clear with who he was talking about he was talking about those who said rabbi rabbi mm -hmm. or those who wanted to be called anyway rabbi rabbi mm -hmm. they wanted the highest seats in the synagogue but yet, if we put that together with Nineveh, even with the condition of Jerusalem at the time of Jesus, the city these men inhabit had become spiritual wastelands. Somebody said it. Leonard Ravenhill said anywhere Jesus went, only two things happened. Riots broke out or revival broke out. That's true. If you don't have either, something is wrong. Because in the other in the other two situations, riot riots can happen because of conviction. Some of us have had people act a fool on us because we said something to them that was from the throne of God, and they got pricked in the conscience and start acting a fool. And I know that because I was one of the ones who had acted a fool on one of you if you told me I wasn't living right. The other side. His revival broke out as well because those some people that get convicted want to repent and they want to come back to God. But how does either of those things happen today, even in our city, if we're not calling a spade a spade? And what I mean by that is saying something is what it is, clearly identifying it. But we've been told that you're judging people. If you steal out there at the mall, yeah. and you are, even if you don't get arrested, you are a thief. Yeah. If you run around on your wife, yeah. you're an adulterer. Yeah. If you tell lies, you're a liar. All right. And in, in a positive sense, if you are walking this thing out and you are repentant, you could be called holy and that would be true. Hmm. You could be called righteous and that would be true. Not your own righteousness, but the righteousness of Christ that's represented through you. Let's be clear about that. But today, if you call these things and call people to say what they are, they're going to act a fool on you and try to destroy you. I say today, we take the, the we do what Jesus did, and we even tell people exactly what they are, but the issue is we want to criticize, and we don't want to speak truth in love. All right. Speaking of truth, you get quiet. Speaking of truth in love is only speaking out of concern for another person's welfare in front of God. That's right. Any other reason, you need to keep your mouth shut, I need to keep my mouth shut. Right. But saints today... We have uh, many people, in, even in this city, discouraged because they see these rabbis, so-called. They see these teachers, so-called. They're running around and living for the devil and nobody's calling a spade a spade. Call them out today in the name of Jesus. Not because you think you're better, but because you receive the same mercy that they need and you understand how precious that mercy is. Pass it on to someone else. Call the spade a spade and don't be afraid. Help us. The time for fear today, saints of God, is past. As your pastor, I have opened the door for you to come and call me a spade when I'm out of order. Have I not? And I appreciate none of y'all who's calling me a spade. You can respect I appreciate that. Amen. I appreciate that. But nobody is above the word of God. That's it. Nobody. 
The Bible says if you have a problem, go to your brother. If they will hear you, you gain a brother. If you will not, if they will not hear you, go and get another. Because out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. But today, people don't follow that. They go and talk to other people when they should go to that person. Or if these rabbinic councils in the church, they form up as demonic posses and try to corner people up and strip them down. Call it out today, saints of God. What today must Jesus do to prove his grace extends to everybody? I don't care how far they've fallen. I don't care who they are. There's room at the cross for them. Now you may say, they have the word of God and they're supposed to be this and that. There are many of them, these same people, that are lost. Jesus called them blind leaders of the blind. Saints that need your love. They need your care. They need you to come to them in a spirit of grace and humility. But by the time things get that far, riots break out in church and the devil's running wild. Saints of God today, when I go down here, I want to tell you this, just a few things. You got to decide if you love Jesus more or love your friend more. That's all. Jesus said, he who is not with me is against me, saints. And he who does not gather with me scatters abroad. We have to decide today, each of you in your own lives, where you work at, where you live at, even in your own family. All right. Who you follow. Because you can no longer, really you can never, you can no longer, we can no longer watch these people walk off cliffs and say nothing for fear of losing the relationship with them. Because he who seeks to save his life will lose it. And he who loses his life for my sake, God said, That's shall right. save it today. That's right. We need to call a spade a spade. But as I flip this thing, when you a spade, you need to be called a spade. That's right. Uh, we'll to this. this is where we get it twisted. I'm going to go tell them, Pastor, he said, I need to go be bold. I'm going to go tell them about themselves. Will you receive the same rebuke that you give out? Because Jesus said, judge not, lest ye also may be judged. For the same judgment you meet will be mentioned again unto you. Now Jesus wasn't saying, don't judge. Yeah. Not what he was saying. He was saying, get your house in order or keep your mouth shut. So when you're the spade, will you be called the spade? Will you welcome it? I'll welcome it. But tell me anyway. I might stick my lip out but love me enough if I'm walking off a cliff to come and say, Pastor Dale, you're walking off a cliff, man. Come on back to us today. I have been clear with our trustees on this. And if I'm lying, tell Brother Lock. If I'm lying, I don't trust yes passive people. I don't trust you. And I don't because when something critical needs to be said, yes passive people say, well, he the pastor. I'm going to let God deal with it. No, he's positioned you to say something to me. Please, by the mercy of God, tell me. You ain't going to hear this kind of preaching anywhere, but you're going to hear it here. And I'm not going to belabor the hour, but I'm going to say this. Your boldness will beget boldness in other people, and then victory comes. Yeah. People want to see somebody, some woman, some man, stand in the gap for what they say they believe about Jesus today. But we got too many cowards behind microphones. We got too many cowards in positions that want to be a part of the go along, get along gang, and they're going to hell. Jesus, step, put you in to step in and say something to one another. Love one another to say something. You're going wrong. All right. Well, well, uh, okay. well. Saints, we've got to call a spade a spade. But here's the good news. I'm going to let you some inside preacher baseball for you. Many of them won't call spades spades because they're afraid of being thrown out of churches. Well, that's true. Because here's the reality. I said it. 
The reality is this. Is that when God does send a few bold warriors. Like Jeremiah into the mix. Right. They're going to end up in the stocks. Yeah. They're going to end up thrown down and beat down. Yeah. This doesn't excuse their silence. Hey. Because that's on them. I don't own anything anyway, Mother Clark. Yeah. You are God's people today. Amen. You belong to the Lord. He paid the price for you and I. The Bible says we are the people and the sheep of his pasture. Right. You belong to him as the bride of Christ today. All I'm saying today, saints, is speak up and speak out. But make sure the spirit is on you today when you speak out today. I've been teaching for a long time. And so I've been here, eight, nine hundred pages of sermon notes. All right. But now it's time for some preaching yeah. to go down because the power of God has to be realized in our lives today, saints. That's right. We need to hold one another accountable yes, no matter what that means. Yeah. Even if it means this, Pastor, that I've told you all this. I run around on that woman right there. You need a new pastor. All right. That's it. Because if I can't take care of my own house, yeah. how shall I take care of the church of God according to 1 Timothy chapter 3? I can't take care of my bride. How am I taking care of the bride of Christ? Put me out. Call a spade a spade today. Because this is where we have to be. Even in discipline, I want to see the love of God through you. Not that I'm going down that way. I ain't going out like that. All right. I ain't going out like that. But all I'm saying today, God's people, unfortunately or fortunately, you are the last line of defense. You need to get into his word and get his word into you and stop letting these demonic ruffians take over the house of God. Yes. Glory. As I close here today, glory. Stand bold yes. in Jesus today. Yes. Hold, we will hold each other accountable in here as long well as I'm the pastor today. Yes. Not in ugliness, but in love. Mm. I got called out here a few weeks ago. You remember the rule, the 1030 to 11 rule? I'm not listening to any business between 1030 and 11. You know why? Because I said something, wasn't thinking, my mind was somewhere else, yeah. and it caused the problem. Right. But somebody loved me enough to come and say, did you say this? Yeah. Spelled it out, and I'm sitting there like this. I'm sitting there looking like, oh, I'm lying. I, I <laughs> no, I'm my memory bad. Yeah. <laughs> but what I did say, what I did say, this is how my remember the conversation. If I did say that, that was wrong, and we got it together, did we not? St. Mark, did we get that together? Amen. This is where we have to be. Yeah. This is what we must do in love Amen. with one another. Yeah. I am your pastor, but I'm not above being called a spade because you know I'm going to call it out. Amen. I'm not, I can't run roughshod over the finances. Right. I can't go and grab all the money out the collection plate. I can't try to date women in the church. That is sin. It is evil. And we must call a spade a spade today. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Savior, y'all, Savior, 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 Jesus, 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 Saints, if if you listen to me right where you are, if you do not have a relationship with Jesus or your relationship is fall down, we ask you right now in Jesus' name to come forward. What we want to do today is we don't want you leaving here uh, not with a relationship uh, with Jesus or backslidden away from him today. 
We ask you to come down this aisle right now in Jesus' name. But here's the good news as well. You can re repair that thing with just a few words right where you are. Yeah. Don't leave here today with something against your brother or sister. Don't leave here today, saints of the Most High Yah today, with a broken relationship with Jesus because tomorrow is not promise, Sister yeah. Wells. Amen. Don't leave here today with that. Even if you don't respond now, I'm asking, pleading with you in Jesus' name to not leave here. Don't leave here broken with a broken relationship. If you're not sure, we ask you to come down today in the name of Jesus. If there's no one, we ask you to sit. And at this time, I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Wells to come and I'm going to ask our Brother Martin to come up. And what we want to do before you leave today, oh yeah, we've got just a few minutes today. Saints of God, we want you today. And if you need deliverance, all of us need deliverance from something. If you are dealing with something, we ask that you come up. We ask that you come up. Whoever will, I'm asking you to come up today. And whatever, amen. 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 We ask you to come on up here. And whatever your request is, we are going to keep that to ourselves. And we are going to just pray over you. Is there anyone else today? I'm going to put this microphone down today, but I'm going to also uh, get prayed over as well, if that's okay. Amen. Amen. We ask you to come. We ask you to come for our altar call.